When using Microsoft Word, sometimes it's nice to take a document and turn it into a columned document. So I'm going to show you how you can insert several different types of columns and also just adjust certain sections of your page so that you can have columns in just a small section of your page. So first of all, let's just take a look at this entire document and turning it into three columns. Um, I have just some sample text here that will turn into columns, so I'm going to go up to my Format menu and choose Columns. This brings up a dialog box that allows me to choose the number of columns I want to have, so I'll make it a three column document, and so the number shows up here for me. If I want to have a solid line between each column, I can click this box, and again the preview window is going to show you what that's going to look like. I can also change the widths of my columns if I wish to. So if I want one column wider than the rest, I can do that. But having this checkbox selected tells me that each of my columns is going to be an equal column width. And then this is just the spacing in between each column. So if I'm doing something like a three-fold brochure, I might want to format my document into three columns. Notice that the very bottom, the last choice I have, is applied to the whole document. So this is going to affect everything that's in my document that I've already typed in and everything in the future that I type. That's important to understand. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you can see that my text now has been adjusted so that it fits into two of the three columns. If I click and hit Enter, you can see that my information will soon be going into my third column. So that's what a three column document would look like. If I don't like the way this looks and I would rather do a two column, I can go back up to my format columns and change that information. This one is going to show two columns, but now what if I wanted to have a wider first column? So we'll just take a look and see what that looks like. I'll bump this up to 375. You can see what that does is takes my space away in the, the middle. It still keeps everything equal. That's because I have this check mark selected. So I want to take that check mark out. And then when I increase on the right hand side, or excuse me, on the left hand side, you can see that my right hand side decreases. Just to give you an idea what the document would look like if I did it that way, you can see that I have a large left-hand column, and if you look up in your ruler you can see there are two columns because there's that second margin. Just to give you an idea what it would look like if I hit enter a couple of times, well a couple hundred times, the text will flow into the second column. So that gives you an idea of what your text can look like. So here's just a couple of quick ways to format your document into multiple columns. One last thing that I'll show you is I'm going to take this off for just a moment. We'll make it one column. Puts it back the way it was. If I wanted to take information, say, in the middle of my document and put that into columns, maybe I have two perspectives that I want to set apart or something, I can highlight the text that I want to affect, come up to Format Columns, enter the number of columns that I want. In this case, I'll make it two and say OK. Notice that it says apply to and selected text is already set for me because I highlighted my text. This is exactly what I want. So I click OK and you'll see that I now have one column, two columns, and then it starts over again with one column. So this tells us that we can set columns inside our document or columns to affect our entire document.